Hey, this is Terra Toots with a quick introduction to vegetation placement and distribution in Terragen. Today, we'll be covering three key techniques for achieving more natural and realistic flora in your scenes. Clumping, coverage, and inverse masking. First off, clumping. We'll be starting out in a scene where I've already created some ground texture, and we want to place some ground cover, bushes and trees on top. Our goal is to create some patches of meadow with bushes and then groves of trees in between. Let's go ahead and bring in a population of Xfrog's European spindle trees, which I'm going to use for low ground cover by shrinking the object to about 60% height. You'll notice that if I go ahead and populate, we get a pretty even coverage over the landscape. In this case, we're going for a more patchy look. So let's go ahead and attach a distribution shader to the population. And then we'll create a power fractal shader and use it to mask the distribution shader. You can use the fractal to mask the population directly, of course, but I always like to use the distribution shader because it gives some more options for control. Let's open the power fractal as well as the preview. And we'll bring the size down, coming over to the color tab, we'll increase the contrast just a bit, bring the roughness down, and reduce the offset so we have a little less grass coverage. Now the key settings I want to highlight are in the tweak noise tab. If you look around in real life, you'll notice that plants of the same type tend to naturally grow in groups together. These two settings, buoyancy from variation and clumping of variation, are a useful tool to help achieve this in Terrigen. Let's crank these up. And you can see that we have lots of small groups tightening up in our fractal. Coming back to our brush, we'll reduce the spacing to really let the mask control placement and populate. Now we have some nice patches for our meadows. The next technique is coverage. Let's add some bushes to our meadows. Here, I'll use Xfrog's elderberry bush with a smaller scale and a half meter object spacing. I'm going to add a distribution shader here as well. And I'm actually going to plug the same power fractal into its mask. What we'll do though is reduce the coverage in the density shader down to 0.2. What that is going to do is draw the bush population back away from the edge of the meadow towards the center. You can see the difference. If I populate, change, and repopulate. Let's go back to the reduced coverage. Now, we also want the bushes to be broken into smaller clumps within the meadows. We can do this with a second power fractal. With a little bit different scale than the first. But still using high clumping settings. Now what we'll do is use a multiply color node to multiply the two fractals together, which is going to give us clumps within clumps, so to say. Now we can feed that into the mask port, repopulate, and now we should have clumps of bushes within our meadows. The last technique we'll look at today is inverse masking. We want to add trees in the spaces between meadows, and we'll do that by inverting our meadow mask. First, let's add a population of Xfrog's Colorado Spruce, also with a little bit smaller scale and spacing. And we'll give it a distribution shader. Now what we're going to do is add a color adjust node and plug in the power fractal controlling our meadow. Open the color adjust and swap the black point and the white point. 
that will swap the empty and filled areas for the population. And if we use this for a mask and populate, we can see trees filling the gaps between meadows. Just for taste, I'm also going to use the coverage trick here to thin the trees out a little bit and pull them back from the meadow edges. At this point, you can start to vary the random seeds until you find a look that you like. Now we have meadows, bushes, and trees a little more naturally distributed. And with some more work on scaling and colors, we've got the start of a decent scene. To summarize, clumping, coverage, and inverse masking are really useful techniques for natural looking plant placement in Terrigen. And these techniques really aren't limited to just plants. They'll work for any kind of populated object. Hopefully you'll find some creative uses for them.